A prototype can be anything. It is not limited to physical products. For example, this is a sketch for a website or an application. This is a cardboard prototype for a 3D model. This is an electronic prototype, maybe for some hardware application. This is a packaging prototype where you can prototype the packaging itself, but also the communication that you put on the packaging. You can use a website or a landing page to test your value proposition and use it as a prototype for your communication. But you can even use Facebook ads and Facebook promotions to test your value proposition or marketing actions. A prototype is a test or a preliminary model, which means that it is not a finished product yet, and this can be about anything. It is used to support business processes, so it's very important that you always have a goal that you want to achieve with it. Prototyping can be useful in different stages and iterations of the design thinking process. For, as, for example, when you're focusing on empathy and understanding, and you want to learn more about the problem that the user is having. You can also use it to select ideas that come out of the ideation phase. You can even use it to develop and test new business models and select the best one, and to test new marketing actions for your marketing plan. A prototype has four different characteristics. Hypothesis, learning goal, fidelity and environment. The hypothesis is about what you want to test. Do you want to test a user interaction? Do you want to test a, a technical or physical product in a real-life circumstance? Do you want to test your service? See which value proposition works best for different customer segments? Do you want to test your price or maybe even something else? The next characteristic is the learning goal and this is about the level on which you want to learn. Do you want to use the prototype to get more empathy and better understand the problem? Do you want to use the prototype to compare different options and see the disadvantages and advantages of different prototypes? Or do you want to use the prototype to decide the best option and to continue to use this version? Then we will talk about fidelity and fidelity is the level of detail of your prototype. This can be low fidelity, medium fidelity and high fidelity. For example, this is a rapid prototyping cardboard and paper version, and this is low fidelity. This is how you can develop a new application on paper. Then we move to medium fidelity, and here you can see a mock-up that is already a digital model, but you can see it is far from finished and it is still very much a prototype. And then finally, we have high fidelity. Here you see an image that very much looks like an application, but it is just a rendered picture. It is not working yet. And then finally, you have the environment in which you will use the prototype. Will it be a natural environment, such as a living room, or will it be a constrained environment, such as an empty or a test room? Will it be guided and will you give them a set of steps that people have to go through to test the prototype or will it be unguided? And will you watch them when they are using the prototype or will you ask them questions afterwards? These are the four elements of a prototype that you have to think about before you start developing it. It will help you to select the best method or tool to develop it. And keep in mind that a prototype is meant to test something and thus that it is meant to throw away.